Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. I forgot to get claims here on these guys, so I can get a claim on them. They're in the coalition, I assume. No, they're not. That's funny. Anyways, um, since Austria is not in this war, might as well just uh, you know connect all this land down here, make some nice border gore on Schluss, if you will. Um, but I'll take as much of this land in here as I can as well. We need, I believe, 14 more provinces for the North German or the German Confederation to be formed. Um, yes, 14 more provinces, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That sounds a little expensive. So we probably won't do that, but we'll do what we can here. So I'm going to take whatever I can from France and give it all to him. So he's got claims on all of this, all of the Ile de France. So if I were to take something like this, cost me a lot of Diplo. If we transfer it over to him, it would be less, but he wouldn't be able to use my absolutism because they never, oops, no, Pope man. No, 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 give me that. No, Pope man. Oh, I gave it to the wrong person. I'm so upset right now. That's fine. Let's see if we can give him, like, the the state. Okay, that's a lot less for me. It's a lot less. I can handle that one. Okay, cool. So our navy is now very strong. Lost the Siege of Geneva, apparently. So, let's see here. Might as well. Get these guys to go handle all these guys over there. They're all just... Lithuania is just getting shellacked over there. Yeah, they siege down Briskau, or however it's pronounced. Get you guys down there. Have you guys come on down here. With a general. Have you guys head on over to siege down this other one with a general. And then you guys with a new general. Very good. Get them out of there. How very novel. 200 ducats sounds like a good trade for some innovativeness. There we go. Handle them. And now we need to start occupying all this land over here because they've given up on all their sieges, which is smart. They definitely should be doing that. On the siege of Narbonne. Now we can basically take whatever we want. Something like this. Siege on all of France proper, except for the fact that he's taking back his capital state, which is super annoying. Anyways, let's give Dauphine as much clay as we can here. Okay, we can give him something like this. It's a nice juicy looking vassal we've got there. Won the Siege of Würzburg, very good. So... These are all level two, level one forts, so let's head on there. Provence has entered into a coalition. Ask me if I care, chat. Ask me if I care. So I assume that fort is going to stop us, so there we go. Let's convert some land since we can. Hopefully, yeah, they're going to end up taking that. That's annoying. We definitely need to set Prague up for success by giving them a better fort. Oh, come on now. Never lucky with sieges. Never. Oh, they lost to 57. I don't feel as bad now. Okay. 
now. They're gonna win that one, but um, oh, they didn't. They got a disease outbreak. Feels so good. Maybe the tables have turned in our favor. Let's get hungry off of there. Yeah, that's what I thought, turd. <laughs> Check this out. 67,000 to 380,000. Croatia's been full occupied for quite a while. You know, it is what it is. There's nothing I can really do about that. Um, let's come on over here, make sure we're sieging everybody down. We're gonna end up annexing as much clay as we possibly can. Let's head up and siege down Brabant since he's the war leader. I believe if we siege him down, it will give us an additional couple of um, war's um, enthusiasm. I believe. I might be wrong. It's only a matter of time before I get a PU on Britain. I will remain their friends. I'm a good friend. I feel like I've made that quite obvious. Yeah, extend the monopoly. The money is too good. It's not worth trading. What I mean is it's worth trading five absolutism for that. Let's get down here. Is Nuremberg in this war as well? They are. Just need to siege everybody down. Very good. We've won the siege of Ulm. We've lost the siege of Geneva. Once we win this one. Hey! Wilhelm Friedrich I will now rule our glorious nation, the 464. Very good. And the 616 Air Wilhelm. I assume Croatia still got us as well. Yes. Let's boost that stability, though. Boost it twice, just for good measure. Augsburg. Get you guys over here. And we're just going to annex everybody. I don't care. Nobody can take any of my land. They can take this my vassal's lands. I don't care. I, it, it would be great if I could touch up these lands, but I cannot. Yeah, I have to take this one province from Austria. When's our choose Austria up? 68. So we have a couple of years, so we can totally speed five this one. Pretender rebels in Croatia is something we're definitely not going to be able to land, or to, to stand is what I'm trying to say. Let's go handle those guys. They will overthrow us and uh, reset the PU, so it's important that we do not let that happen. Goodness gracious, Bavaria. So... I want as much of this as I can possibly take. It's a lot of Diplo. But I'll be able to get it, so that's great. Very good. Turns out full occupying everybody in the war is good for us. Good for, good for business. Here we go. Very close to getting all this. Somehow they are swarming over here, which is mega annoying. How many men have they lost? 430. Let's get you guys back over. I'm going to end up needing to siege all this stuff back. It's going to irritate me quite a bit. Kill them all. There you go. He's on low enthusiasm now. Who else is in on this war that we can uh, siege down? Mole house. Hmm. And it jumped back up to 10% because reasons. I, I uh, Coalition wars are quite annoying honestly because i feel like they're just they randomly hover at a certain point and there's nothing you can do like brabantia military strength seven what are you talking about dude what are you talking about so brabant's got an army somewhere and it's telling them you know what i think we're good <laughs> really so let's come over here get our five siege guy get back onto uh this fort here Let's take you. 
head on over. Get those guys off these forts. Yeah, they are gaining a bunch of war, war enthusiasm from sieging down these forts, so... So, that's annoying. There we go. Winning sieges. Truce with Castile is over because they're pitiful cowards. Let's just split you guys in half and do something like this. Siege back Heidelberg eventually. One. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, Bohemia. There we go. We won that one. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to say worth. We're still ahead, so we can get manpower recovery speed. Look at this. Almost 3,000 manpower a month. We'll core it all up as we can. And uh, we are now... Which one do we unlock? What? Do I see one here? Am I blind? It appears I am blind. Oh, here it is. Onspock Succession. Uh, Franconia has accepted culture, plus 100 mil points. Sounds good to me. And um, six more provinces, and which we'll be able to get from Austria, and we're good to go. I could attack these guys. Thuringia and Memmingen. So how long is our truce with you guys? 68? 78, I mean. Okay. Let's see here. Farmlands? Yes, please. Handle his rebels for him? Yes, please. And I'll just have you guys suppressing over here, which is fine. Man, does it feel good to have these Prussian Space Marines. Ah. Let's just suppress for him with this army. I did not click off of that. There you go. There we go. Pay you off, and that's it. Now we're just waiting. We're waiting till our truce is up, and we'll be able to attack these guys. Um... We'd look more and more like a German Prussia as the days go on. It's wonderful. We certainly are um, over our governing capacity, but we are very, very close to being able to institute the last one. Diplo wrap, nice. Look at this. Negative 500. I don't even care about dismantling the HRE at this point. At this point, AE is literally only a number, and it only affects people within the HRE. So I don't care. I kind of want to see how high I can get the numbers, honestly. Let's re-ally them. They got an air. Let's re-ally these guys. They're just going to dishonor the call again, but... Having some strong allies isn't a problem. There we go. Let's have you guys suppress. They have high war exhaustion, so they're going to get peasants eventually. Sort by overextension. Those are the ones that you really want to handle. When's our truce up? I want to make sure we know it so it's now, eventually. Next month. So let's get you guys split and have you guys come up here. There we go. Truce is now over with these guys. So, let's attack them. Call Thuringia in. Have you guys come over to Mole House. Nice. Free professionalism is great. We're getting closer and closer to... Uh, very nice. Come down here to Württemberg. We might be able to siege down or annex everybody, which is great. Oh, Austria joined. Was he allied? Ah, I didn't even look. <laughs> That's funny. I co-belligerented him without looking at who he was allied to. That's actually pretty funny. Well, that's fine. We'll take these four and then at least this one over here. I would like this gold mine. I mean, I don't need it, but gold is nice. I like gold. Who doesn't, you know? Austria probably doesn't have much of an army. 
Oh, he's got 45,000. It's definitely not nothing. Small house is ours. Eh, let's group these guys up just so we're not, um, you know, playing it too risky. Let's get over onto Vienna. As I say, let's not be too risky. If Court and Country fires, I suppose it's not really the end of the world. I would probably rather it didn't. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't want to siege that down, I promise you. That's not in your best interest. It's not a stack wipe. But they took very heavy losses, so that's good. Okay, let's get over here. Something like this. Might be able to take some clay from Lorraine as well. So, oh yeah, there's a lot of people in this war. It's funny because I was honestly an oversight. I just wasn't paying attention when I declared the war. Beautiful music. Take his gold. I want the gold. Where the gold at? Um, let's hold off on this one. Let's do something like this. Siege down this fort. That way we can get as many men down in there as possible. Goodness gracious, that's a mountain fort? And we have 10 day siege ticks on a mountain fort? Oh, it's woods. I was going to say. There we go. Force march. No force march needed. So let's see, I could give some land to uh, to Bohemia as well, up here in uh, Austria proper. Might be worth separate piecing him. Probably is worth piece separate piecing him, actually. Let's do it. Let's give this entire state to Bohemia. And then have Austria separate piece for that. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, just kidding. Let's use my absolutism, see if that helps. Nope. It's exactly the same. Okay. Well, I suppose giving him Vienna would be... Smart. I just. Oopsies. Here we go. Don't care about aggressive expansion at all. I'm gonna end up needing to take Lorraine now, though, so I can connect up with my vassal here. Okay. Let me see here. Let's detach you guys and have you guys protecting trade in Lubeck. Give us more trade, obviously. And then Austria no longer considers me a rival. Let's get our siege guy over there as well. Teleport you in. Um, yeah, we can afford to take this, which is going to help make our armies a little bit cheaper as well, which is great. Let's have you guys come up here, handle rebels. Yeah, it's fine. No embargo on Austria, apparently. We have huge PP, so I don't care. We can rival the Ottomans. Make it worth it eventually. Let's go siege John Seeley. That's funny. They literally popped as I walked away. go. Manpower is not an issue, so let's get rid of that and get our idea cost thing. Should have done that, would have saved us some mill points, but it's okay. Still focusing mill, which is good. Probably would be in our best interest to work on that. I want the discipline, but 
I don't think it's as important at this point. I don't think it's something we need to worry about. Let's get you guys over here. I just don't have enough cannons on that fort, so it's hurting us there. Milan Savoy, huh? So, what, you want a PU? No, he hates me forever. So, that's yeah, not going to happen. Ernst the Second von Habsburg. Well, let's get you guys over here. Have you guys come on down there. Beautiful. And we lost the 70 of some percent. Lithuanian Pretender Rebels. So, let's go handle them. For the general. 85% chance we fend the war in the right. Nope, just kidding. We literally don't win sieges, guys. Nice. Half off level three. Oh, is he level one? He's our culture, though, so we can upgrade him. Look at this. Look how cheap he is. Level four for less money than the than the high level guy. So, um, so let's separate piece out Lorraine for a full annex. Yes, sir. To make sure I'm not going to go over my overextension. Ah, uh, looks like I might actually. So let's speed five it for a little bit. We're going to have to core this up before we can do anything. Our Diplo has just been hurting. Let's see if we can wipe out these Pretender Rebels. They're problematic. No Pretender Rebels. This is all my clay. Like, check this out. Prussia's color is admittedly not super high contrast against the backdrop of the game, but... They have no general on that army, so... Goodness, they holding on, though. So, need to take back anything that's held by Pretender Rebels. I need to core up everything. There we go. And we can now click this button. Give us more absolutism, which is good. Which then allows us to reform the state, government reform progress for stability, and admin tech cost for the rest of the game, or 200 admin points right then and there. Oh, we're ahead on admin. Admin tech off of this game, it'll pay itself off. So let's do that. And uh, court and country probably won't even fire, honestly. That's going to get taken back anyway, so let's head on down here. Let's have you guys suppress rebels that will inevitably fire in this area. It's rebellious. Rebellious areas. Yeah. Separatist in Weimar. Okay. Core it all up. So, yeah, we can't take any... Oh, yeah, we can take this. Very good. Beautiful. No more war, and our borders look even prettier than before. And now we can proclaim the German Confederation. So check this out. This will actually save us some uh, some points as well. So 48, 58, 16. 48, 58, 16. 48, 58, 16. Look at that. Saves us, like, a few admin points. Not to be underestimated, friends. We'll suppress those rebels over there. Um... Sadly, we're one province off from touching tips with, uh, with these guys down there. So, Croatia, you guys are on your own. So, let's also... Let's see here. Let's get you guys grouped up and have them drilling so we can max out our professionals. And we're very close. Might end up just buying some of it with... Um, what's it called? With mill points. So, we can get three more. And what's the force limit over here? 57? Yeah. So we'll just hold off. This, these guys are actually taking attrition. But not if we have a guy over there. So it's good. Handle all the rebels. And then we'll be able to... Oh, I used to have an unrest map mode, but I think I got rid of it. So is this still going up? Oh, wait. Court and Country is still going up? I thought you had to be at war. Did they change that? Hmm. I don't know. 
I mean, it's not gonna fire as we, as we, um... Yeah, it won't fire. Discontent. Yes, these guys are jerks. Let's, um, do some sabotaging their reputation. Let's spy on them. Very good. All right, that's a good place to end it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please show your support and leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell. It'll send you a notification when we upload. And if you want to check out the Discord, or if you enjoy what we're doing and you want to support us on Patreon, the links are in the description below the video. With that all being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.